tropical depression 16W as uh, it moves westward uh, toward the Marianas. Uh, we have got Brandon Idolette, who is doing just a fantastic job uh, sitting in for his uh, brother, Landon. So good morning, Brandon. <laughs> Good morning. I'm trying to make sure I've got the video. Uh, <laughs> my, my screen. But there, there we go. go. Is that better? Yeah. No, there for a minute, but it's okay if you do it upside down, too, because you, you do such uh, a great job. We lost all gravity around here. Uh, <laughs> you're scaring me. I've got it. The wind's up better, right? You're upside down. <laughs> It's been busy, and uh, so uh, accordingly so. Uh, but uh, yeah, so there's a few changes from the overnight hours, mm -hmm. and uh, of course, if you look out outside the window, uh, here I'm looking at uh, looking outside uh, again. Uh, my brother's office is a nice. Uh, we got some nice clouds, really good thunderstorms starting to develop uh, north of the island, and uh, north and northwest of the island, and uh, but. You know, these, these thunderstorms we're seeing are, are not quite related to 16W. Uh, so we, we take a quick look at the, toward the Marianas, and we do have some showers and thunderstorms starting to really pick up. And, of course, what we're seeing here is the actual center of uh, 16W, somewhere within uh, this uh, white cloud cover. So yesterday, uh, the, the tropical storm, well, excuse me, the tropical depression what was quite uh, unimpressive. Uh, when we have these weak systems, uh, tropical depression strength, uh, maybe even a weak tropical storm, uh, the central convection, uh, the heavy showers and thunderstorms, a uh, central convection kind of pulsates. You have uh, 12 to 18 hour periods of, uh, of really vigorous thunderstorms, and then it kind of subsides for about four to six, maybe eight hours. Uh, but yesterday uh, was tremendously uh, tolling on 16W. Uh, upper level winds kept on buffeting uh, the, the storm and, and it ultimately impeded its, uh, uh, its uh, structural organization and it thus weakened to about a 30 mile per hour tropical depression. But overnight uh, we have seen uh, the showers and thunderstorms pick back up and, and we're definitely seeing some indication that there are some strong uh, windy uh, gusty conditions especially on the north side. So let's, uh, let's take a quick jump over to the slides. Uh, there's a few things I want to talk about. And then, of course, uh, also uh, talk about why things happened the way they did yesterday and overnight. So we'll go into a quick recap. Uh, right now, our headline, uh, we are still with a tropical storm watch in effect for both Guam and Rhoda. Uh, so we're seeing that possibility of those tropical storm force winds exceeding 39 miles per hour, although the chance has somewhat uh, lessened since yesterday. There's still the potential for heavy rainfall, uh, although the overall rainfall accumulation estimates is a little bit lower as well, just to the nature uh, that the showers and thunderstorms are not uh, just heavily distributed all around 16W. So there's going to be some high variability from location to location, uh, both on Guam and then from Guam across the CNMI. Uh, we're going to see those uh, isolated showers and thunderstorms today. They will be increasing overnight. And, uh, and then we're going to see those strongest and gustier winds uh, Tuesday as 16W passes by near uh, or just south of Guam, although there's a, a little bit of variability, uh, at least in the exact position. So that's all because it is hard to find exactly where the, the pinpoint specific center of 16W is just because it is that poorly organized. We're going to be looking at the marine conditions becoming hazardous along with surf conditions uh, either later tonight uh, but definitely by Tuesday morning, and then qu uh, conditions will quickly improve uh, late Tuesday night into Wednesday. And so our current, we have the tropical storm watches, the hydrologic outlook still in effect for Guam. So let's go to the next slide and uh, let's talk some terminology. There, the, the National Weather Service, we, we have a specific terminology the way we refer to watches and warnings. And basically, the, whether it's a tropical storm or a typhoon, uh, we issue the watch, and that is based within the possibility of tropical storm conditions, damaging winds uh, within 48 hours. So we say possible because it's not a dead set certainty. There's still uh, uh, some uh, leeway. There's some uncertainty in the track, the intensity forecast. So we say these damaging winds exceeding 39 miles per hour are possible. However, as certainty increases uh, within about the 24 hour time frame, then that's when we consider the warning. And, and then you see that word changes from possible to expected. 
now we have a higher expectation of those damaging winds. That does not fit the situation right now uh, because 16W is still poorly organized and uh, just not expected to strengthen until perhaps as it gets closer to Guam or ultimately farther west of the Marianas. So we are keeping a tropical storm watch with just that possibility of tropical storm conditions. So next slide, please. So this is the current uh, satellite image. Uh, overnight, we have seen a, a flare up of convection. I, you see the orange circle uh, oval uh, that is a little bit off center from the L, which is defining the low pressure area. Uh, you see it is asymmetric to the circulation. And, and that is what is going to be very important to keep in mind, not only for Guam, but uh, for the CNMI as the heavier showers, uh, thunderstorms and the stronger winds are all to the center uh, or all to the north of the center of the circulation. So if the circulation center passes just north of Guam, we're going to be seeing much weaker winds that are actually westerly in nature. Uh, so that could uh, really reduce the overall impacts for Guam. But right now the forecast track does still favor a passage over uh, or uh, very close to Guam. So we're holding put on those conditions. And uh, so the storm is currently moving west at 18 miles per hour with sustained winds of 30 miles per hour. So the next slide, uh, why are we not looking at a tropical storm right now? Well, one thing is, uh, if you look at the, the left image with all the, the, the more yellow, that is, uh, this is water vapor imagery. Uh, we're looking at the, the moisture content of the atmosphere. Where you see the yellow, that indicates drying, uh, drier conditions, that is sinking air, it is subsident. Uh, where air drops, it is, it is drying. And uh, for a tropical cyclone to develop, to sustain itself, it needs moisture. Uh, and, and right now, you see the, the blues and whites with the center, it, but it is heavily surrounded by drier air. That is not good for a tropical cyclone to develop and intensify. On the right, where you see more blue, this is looking at the upper level winds. Uh, so those uh, little lines, those are indicating this, the wind flow. And that big arrow, I try to make it very noticeable. Uh, that is what happens that has kept uh, 16W from really organizing itself. It's getting impinged on from the northeast by stronger upper level winds that have uh, continued a little bit longer than earlier expected. That has slowed and delayed the earlier expected, uh, expectation of intensification. So drier and stronger winds aloft have ultimately limited 16W. So let's go to the next slide. Uh, earlier uh, last week, uh, we talked about thunderstorms, just a typical uh, uh, the pattern of tropical convection. And uh, on the bigger scale, uh, we've got the tropical cyclones. You like to have a, a massive regional uh, pattern that is quite parallel, uh, broad area of incoming air at the surface, rising up to the top of the atmosphere, and then flowing out away from the center. Uh, but where I've shaded that area of blue, we've had that stronger north, northeast winds that have ultimately disrupted uh, this pattern from really taking place. And therefore we are looking at a depression instead of, uh, instead of a tropical storm today. So one more application, just wanna show you, I, I think this is something that will probably resound with more people. Looking at the kitchen sink, I, I was just tr driving into work this morning and, and my half, uh, uh, insomnia thought process centered on the little <laughs> funnel that you see in the sink drain. So I'm hoping this will help uh, maybe bring these concepts down and then maybe it'll sink in with some people. Um, but you drain the water out of the sink, you get this little funnel over the drain, but you apply just a small little disruption, could be your finger, could you could blow real hard on it and you're gonna disrupt that funnel. And then all of a sudden you've got nothing. It's just disrupted uh, chaos over the drain. That's pretty much what those upper level winds have done uh, to 16W. It's just really interrupted and, and uh, has really halted any development of uh, depression 16. And, and that's, uh, that's tropical uh, weather in a nutshell. So what are we looking at for the next several days? We do have that uh, tropical storm warn or uh, excuse me, tropical storm watch in effect. Uh, and that's gonna go through at least Tuesday. And, and then as the 16W moves off to the west, uh, we're going to see conditions very quickly improving. Although later on in the week, we do see those wet conditions as uh, other just tropical disturbances move through. Nothing of significance, uh, but we are still looking at somewhat unsettled weather later in the week. And, but ultimately, 
to put everything into a very simple uh, reminder, seas, surf, winds are all going to come up uh, late tonight and into Tuesday morning, uh, where we could be seeing uh, small craft advisories, high surf advisories uh, with hazardous surf, hazardous uh, sea and wind conditions for small craft. So it is not going to be the time for any type of uh, marine activities. And so we heavily caution people to uh, make the right decision, be safe, and uh, be responsible ultimately. But as always, uh, stay up to date on all the latest forecasts. You can find them at weather.gov slash gum and also on Facebook uh, under NWS Guam. Uh, we are updating the forecast for Guam and Rota every six hours. So as long as we are in this uh, tropical storm uh, watch condition, we will be issuing forecasts every six hours and uh, and hope uh, you will stay tuned with us. Send us some questions on social media and uh, and we'll be keeping uh, that information flowing for everybody across the Marianas. Okay, real, real important question, uh, Brandon, because I know you and your team, you guys have been, you know, really working on this and, you know, admit it, you know, you guys are weather geeks, so you guys really, really love this stuff and the way you guys have actually uh, dispatched the information is greatly appreciated. What kind of coffee do you drink to actually keep you going as long as you have? Uh, right now, I've just got some of that sink water. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I, uh, I, I just get whatever's cheap at the grocery store and I just brew it extra strong. Uh, this morning was about three o'clock, so I, I've got me about another few hours of energy left and then I will find uh, some refills. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, can I get the real quick cliff notes? Um, so we're looking at um, CPA one. And in uh, what CPA, form? we're looking at roughly uh, around midday, midday on uh, Tuesday. Uh, that has been fairly consistent. And uh, let me splash up the latest uh, track uh, standby. I want to switch this around just to show you what we're looking at. This is uh, advisory uh, 22 as of 7 o'clock this morning. Okay. And so uh, you see the blue shading off to the west. Uh, there's Guam in the center. Blue shading, that indicates the damaging winds uh, of uh, 39 miles per hour tropical storm strength. And you'll see uh, yesterday we were looking at those damaging winds starting here, then here, and then it's been gradually pushed back. So basically this, uh, the goal line, uh, uh, we're punting that intensification farther and farther uh, later into the future. Computer models still favor uh, that intensification uh, once the storm gets into the Philippine Sea. Uh, we see so many storms intensify out there, so it's still something to watch. Maybe it could have some effect on our on our sea conditions, especially westerly swell uh, next uh, late next week. Um, but we're going to watch it. But ultimately, for the Marianas, uh, the overall expectations are somewhat improved. But we are maintaining a cautious optimism uh, with regard to that improvement in outlook. So midday Tuesday, um is when we're looking at a CPA. Just it, it could change in terms of uh, what form it will it will uh, uh, come to Guam, whether it's a TD or a, a TS, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, so right now it's looking in, uh, more increasingly favorable that it will be just a tropical uh, depression as it passes Guam, and uh, but the 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 outlier would be if uh, 16 were to pass just north of us. We're going to see much weaker winds over Guam just because of that asymmetry, uh, the uneven distribution of winds, all the strong stuff being to the north and the weaker winds to the south side. Uh, so that's something to watch out for. It would be kind of one of those weird scenarios right. uh, that w that is, is, is technically feasible. Right. So, but for everybody, you all know what to do. Just prepare just in case. You never know. That's right. Be ready for the possibility of heavy rains and some strong winds so be prepared to uh, uh get ready uh but if you have any outdoor items that are loose uh, easily windswept maybe go ahead and take care of those and secure them all right thanks a lot brandon we'll see you uh at 11 30 for the heavy weather briefing all right take care see you soon all right Appreciate soon. It, man. and now with your news in tomorrow here is kin Conception. Where is the Napades to get some to be from the Tamoru in the KUAM news? For the Santa Nia Familia Mito, give first a wine bank.